how cyclophosphamide acts as alkylating acid. Mustards as alkylating acids. So we have so many chemicals like nitrogen mustards, sulfur mustards, which are acting like alkylating acids. So among these, the well-known group is the nitrogen mustards. So nitrogen mustards include the drugs like chlorambucil, meclorithamine, cyclophosphamide, and ephosphamide. So all these drugs are acting like the nitrogen mustards and these are having a common structure where the nitrogen is attached with the CH2CH2Cl where they are having at the beta position a chlorine group which is acting like a better living group. And once this chlorine is going to be removed from this molecule, now this molecule can be converted to an intermediate azeridinium ion. So azeridinium ions are highly reactive and they can attack the nucleophilic site of the DNA where they can form an alkylation on the strands of the DNA. So in this way, nitrogen mustards can produce either inter or intra-strand cross-linkage between the DNA strands. Now cyclophosphamide is having the structure like this and you can see that it is having the three heteroatoms oxygen, phosphorus and nitrogen. And we can give the preference to the oxygen so we can start the numbering from the oxygen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And it is also having a side chain attached to the nitrogen which is having the alpha carbon and beta carbon. So it is having a side chain which we call beta halo alkyl group which is responsible for the alkylation of the DNA. And it's also having the ring system that what we call 135-oxa-aza-phosphorine ring system. Now this is the structure of the cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide acts as a prodrug. So cyclophosphamide when it is given in vivo, it is going to be converted into one of its metabolite 4-hydroxycyclophosphamide. And this step is mediated by cytochrome P450 enzymes. And once this 4-hydroxycyclophosphamide is going to be formed, it is then going to be converted into aldophosphamide by a ring opening reaction. And finally, this aldophosphamide is going to be split into two compounds. One is the phosphoramide mustard and second is the acrolein. So here, phosphoramide mustard is acting like a alkylating agent which is responsible for the anti-cancer activity of the cyclophosphamide. Now we can see how it is going to be metabolized in vivo. This is the cyclophosphamide structure and when it is uh, given in vivo it is going to be converted into 4-hydroxycyclophosphamide. You can observe that a hydroxy group is attached at the fourth position. And because of this hydroxyl group, which is going to initiate the ring opening reaction. So here the ring is going to be cleaved at this position. So now this 4-hydroxycyclophosphamide is going to be converted into aldophosphamide. And you can observe that this hydroxyl group is converted into an aldehyde function group. So this is the another important metabolite of the cyclophosphamide that is the aldophosphamide. Now this aldophosphamide can be split into two components by cleavage at this position. Now when the ring is going to be cleaved at this position, now it is going to be split into components. Uh, one is the phosphoramide mustard and another one is the acrolein. So in this way, aldophosphamide can release the phosphoramide mustard and acrolein. Among these phosphoramide mustard is going to produce its uh, alkylating effect on the DNA. Bladder toxicity caused by this cyclophosphamide. Now we know that cyclophosphamide is going to be split into two components phosphoramide mustard as well as the acrolein. This phosphoramide mustard is acting like an alkylating agent whereas acrolein is a cytotoxic substance which produces hemorrhagic cystitis, a bladder toxicity. This hemorrhagic cystitis is because of the depletion of the free thiol groups within the bladder because of the action of acrolein. Since it is going to deplete the thiol groups, we can externally give the thiol groups in the form of the mesna. So mesna can inhibit the hemorrhagic cystitis caused by acrolein, one of the important metabolite of the cyclophosphamide. 
Now Mesna acts as a thial donor. So Mesna is having the structure like this and you can observe it's having a Mercaptor group which is acting like a thial donor. And we can start the numbering from the sulfur oxide. So here one, two. So it is having the two Mercaptor groups. So the name of this Mesna is the two Mercaptor ethane sulfonate sodium. And this mesna can be used to prevent the bladder toxicity caused by cyclophosphamide. In this way, cyclophosphamide can produce the two components, uh, phosphoramide mustard and acrolein. But phosphoramide mustard is mainly responsible for the alkylation of the DNA.